His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the heads of members of trade unions in Bahrain on the occasion of Labor Day, which falls on May 1st. His Majesty the King affirmed his pride in the effective role of Bahrain's workers and their contributions to its development and the national economic process, hailing Bahraini workers' creativity, excellence, and competency in various work and production sites. His Majesty welcomed the guests and congratulated Bahrain's workers on the occasion, expressing thanks and appreciation to all Bahraini workers who dedicated their time and efforts towards the nation's development, progress and prosperity. He expressed appreciation for the role of labor unions and their contributions to defending Bahrain's interests in Arab and international labor events and introducing its achievements and successes in labor fields for the interest of workers. He noted the importance of the cooperation between those concerned with labor affairs to serve the interests of Bahrain's workers and enhance the partnership between production parties that contribute to serving the economic development process. His Majesty held the achievements and gains made by the leading labor movement and experience in Bahrain for all workers. He affirmed the Kingdom's support to all efforts that contribute to providing Bahraini workers with rights and guarantees for their vital role in supporting the building and development process. His Majesty the King commended the efforts of the Ministry of Labor and its endeavor to train Bahraini youth and qualify them to various work sites and implement programs and provide job opportunities for the people of Bahrain for the interest of the Kingdom. His Majesty asserted that Bahraini citizens will remain the state's priority and the core of its development, goals, plans and programs, expressing pride in the efforts of the people of Bahrain and their contributions to the national process for their competency and dedication in carrying out their responsibilities and their keenness on honoring their country in various fields and events. He wished all success in serving the Kingdom's Labour March. The heads and members of the trade unions expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and pride in his support for Bahrain's workers and achieving their aspirations, praising the achievements and gains made through His Majesty's reform project.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lam Salam following the royal order adjourning the second session of the sixth legislative term. The Speaker expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's follow up of the Council's work to achieve the best interests for the Kingdom and its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh following the Royal Order adjourning the second session of the sixth legislative term. The Chairman expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's support to the Legislative Authority to achieve the best interests for the Kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lam Salam on the occasion of His Majesty the King's Royal Order adjourning the second session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. Lam Salam expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering collaboration between the executive and legislative authorities to benefit Bahrain and its people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh on the occasion of His Majesty the King's Royal Order adjourning the second session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. Al Saleh expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering collaboration between the executive and legislative authorities to benefit the kingdom and its people. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Rostels Project, the first mobile youth hostel, in the presence of the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Ayman Lam Ayyad, the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, and the chairperson and members of Bahraini Youth Hostel Association. The mobile youth hostel is a purely Bahraini idea and was designed and manufactured by Bahraini hands taking four months to design. It includes six private capsule beds and all special facilities and requirements for travel and adventure. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that Bahrain always aims for leadership in various fields, especially youth aspects, as the kingdom has reached a distinguished status at the external level as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He expressed pride in the mobile youth hostel as it ensures that Bahrain takes the lead in producing pioneering ideas, especially since Bahraini youth hostels have a remarkable history of achievements. His Highness highlighted the importance of utilizing the Mobile Youth Hostel to promote youth tourism and increase initiatives that contribute to meetings between Bahraini youth and their peers from brotherly and friendly countries. His Highness listened to a detailed explanation about the importance of the Mobile Youth Hostel project and its positive impact on the youth movement in Bahrain, in addition to its goals, values and message. Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the final game of the Khaled bin Hamad Gold Generation Tournament in the basketball category was held. The game was between the Manama and Amharraq clubs at the Bahrain Basketball Federation, which resulted in Manama defeating Amharraq 90-64. His Highness presented the tournament trophy to the Manama team. His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed also joined at the trophy presentation to the champion, the Manama club, runner-up, the Muharraq club, and the Ahli team, which came in third. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that the tournament is one of the initiatives of the GSA aimed at fostering sports talents in various sports, including basketball. He highlighted the positive outputs of this initiative in creating an environment for young players to develop their skills. His Highness congratulated the Manama Club for winning the title, commending the efforts of the club's board of directors, players and technical and administrative staff. He also praised the performance of Amharraq Club and wished them success in upcoming tournaments.
The Representatives Council yesterday held its weekly session chaired by its Speaker Ahmed Lamsalam. The Council approved a proposal on establishing a seaport in Ibsaytin. It also approved a proposal prioritizing the most affected neighborhoods and residential blocks by rainfall and infrastructure projects to establish sewage and rainwater drainage networks. Under the patronage of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, the General Secretariat of the Representatives Council held a ceremony for empowering the People of Determination Award 2024, which was launched under the directives of the Speaker. More in this report. Initiatives, projects and achievements made by People of Determination through their desire to affirm their impact on society. Today they are reaping the fruits of their continuous efforts by winning the Representatives Council Award for Empowering People of Determination, which revealed creativity and innovative ideas and were able to prove their names on a global scale. This award, which was launched with a vision to draw the dream of people of determination and move them to a reality that appreciates their efforts and creativity, enhances the spirit of competitiveness within them and encourages them to present more exemplary and distinguished initiatives and programs, increase community awareness of their rights and enhance cooperation and partnerships to achieve positive social change. Bahrain is a country that embraces its people with determination, guarantees their rights, and enables them to integrate into society so that they are able to invest their abilities and potential in all aspects of life. These are the most important goals that the Representatives Council took upon itself, so it launched this award to be an icon in motivating people of determination and increasing cooperation and partnerships between government agencies, civil and private sectors to achieve sustainable improvements in the lives of people of determination. The President of Tunisia, Qais Saeed, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, on the occasion of the Minister's Arab tour. The President instructed the Minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and his wishes of continued progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. The President stressed the importance of holding the 33rd Arab Summit in Bahrain under the chairmanship of His Majesty the King in light of the current situations faced by the Arab world, wishing the summit success and enhancing Arab cooperation and integration, praising the distinguished fraternal relations between the two countries and their peoples. Dr. Zayani expressed appreciation to the President for receiving him and conveyed to him the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to Tunisia and its people, praising the fraternal relations between the two countries and the growing bilateral cooperation in various fields. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf Nawaf al Maouda received the Saudi Attorney General, Sheikh Saud bin Abdullah Al-Mu'jab. The Minister welcomed the Attorney General and the accompanying delegation, noting the depth of ties between the two countries in light of the support of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. He hailed the development of bilateral cooperation in the judicial field, which enhances the exchange of experiences in various judicial fields and combating transnational organized crimes. The Attorney General was briefed on Bahrain's completed development projects and recent initiatives in the judicial field and those related to digital transformation. They also discussed enhancing bilateral cooperation and developing justice mechanisms, coordinating the implementation of judicial delegations and combating cross-border crimes. Under the patronage of the CEO of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Bar Association, in cooperation with the authority, organized a symposium entitled New Provisions for Real Estate Regulation in the Kingdom of Bahrain. More in this report. The Bahrain Bar Society, in cooperation with the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, organized a symposium titled New Provisions for Real Estate Regulation in the Kingdom of Bahrain, in the presence of government officials, lawyers, and those interested in the real estate sector, to exchange experiences and discuss legislation related to the sector. The symposium touched on many topics related to owners' unions, the Code of Conduct for Real Estate Professionals, Inspection, Investigation and Accountability in Real Estate Development Work, the measures that may be taken when a violation is proven, and other related topics. The symposium was of utmost importance for the Real Estate Regulatory Authority to permanently and continuously study and review executive decisions to keep pace with changes in the real estate sector. The Real Estate Regulatory Authority plays a pivotal role in building a strong foundations of laws and legislative regulations to provide a safe and sustainable real estate environment that protects the rights of stakeholders in the economic environment. 
The President of the Union of Arab Chambers and Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, participated in the annual investment forum in Abu Dhabi in the presence of representatives of countries, major global investors and international business leaders from the public and private sectors to review the latest developments and ways to promote sustainable development and future solutions for the global economy. Nas affirmed that the COVID crisis has accelerated plans for digital transformation initiatives among private sector and government institutions to provide access to the required services and transactions actions to individuals and institutions. He stressed that the post-COVID crisis phase has strengthened cooperation between the public and private sectors to enhance innovation and address challenges, noting the importance of integrating traditional and modern methods in cooperation in corporate management and marketing. The tourism sector in Bahrain is considered one of the important and active sectors where the kingdom was able to maintain its share of the regional and global tourism market by focusing on the distinctive components of the tourism aspects in the kingdom. More in this report. The comprehensive development process of the tourism sector system has proven its success through several global milestones, the most recent of which is the Kingdom of Bahrain winning two prestigious awards during the World Travel Awards for the year 2024, which was organized in Dubai, confirming the Kingdom's capabilities that make it offer a distinctive tourism experience for visitors. The historical and heritage treasure and the natural and cultural diversity in the kingdom have enabled it to develop attractive plans and strategies and enhance its tourism sector, especially in the field of holding weddings, which gave the kingdom the title of the preferred regional destination for holding major weddings and luxurious wedding ceremonies in recent years, in addition to Exhibition World Bahrain winning an award for Best Center for Major Weddings in the Middle East for the year 2024 by receiving the highest votes after competing with four prominent regional centers. The Bahraini tourism strategy contributed to increasing the gross domestic product and enabled the kingdom to assume a prominent position as an attractive tourist destination due to its distinctive features that meets the diverse needs of visitors. The governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB Khaled Ahmedan, received the 2023 Kuwait Informatics Medal, which was granted the CBB during the 23rd edition of the Hassan Sheikh Salam Al Ali Sabah Informatics Award Ceremony in Kuwait, under the patronage of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait. On the occasion, Hamidan expressed the CBB's honor in receiving the medal, which is a recognition of the efforts made in the field of technical innovation and digital transformation. The member of the Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security at the Shura Council, Ali Al-Aradi, participated in the NATO PA Mediterranean and Middle East Special Group Seminar. Al-Aradi affirmed Bahrain's pivotal and reliable role in international alliances and energy as a result of the distinguished status and appreciation that His Majesty the King receives from the leaders of the European Union countries. Al-Aradi noted the large and growing role played by the GCC in this field and their distinguished relations with the rest of the world.